There was a study out of Harvard that shows that short daily doses of meditation can literally grow the gray matter in key areas of your brain having to do with self-awareness and compassion and shrink the gray matter in the area associated with stress. There was also a study out of Yale that looked at what's called the default mode network of the brain. It's a connected uh, series of brain regions that are active during most of our waking hours when we're doing that thing that human beings do all the time, which is obsessing about ourselves, thinking about the past, thinking about the future, doing anything but being focused on what's happening right now. Meditators not only turn off the default mode network of their brain while they're meditating, but even when they're not meditating, in other words, meditators are setting a new default mode. And what's that default mode? They're focused on what's happening right now. In sports, this is called being in the zone. It's nothing mystical. It's not magical. You're not floating off into cosmic ooze. You are just being where you are. The cliche in self-help circles is being in the now. You can use that term if you want, but it, because it's accurate. It's, it's slightly annoying, but it's accurate. I, it's, it's more just being focused on what you're doing. And the, the benefits of that are enormous. And this is why you're seeing these unlikely meditators now, why you're seeing the U.S. Marines adopting it, the U.S. Army, corporate executives from the head of Ford to the founders of Twitter, athletes from Phil Jackson uh, to uh, many, many Olympians, uh, scientists, doctors, lawyers, school children. There's this sort of elite subculture of high achievers who are adopting this because they know it can help you be more focused on what you're doing and it can stop you from being yanked around by the voice in your head.